up, everybody? It's 12 noon Eastern Standard. We're live right here on the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page. I'm about to send you over to the prettiest man in the cooking industry. The, the white chocolate to my dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Pepsi to my Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The orange fanna to my purple fanna. Yeah. It's Chef John. Hey, do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it and come get it. When the sun starts going down, live your life the way you like. It's the Rec Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, Rec Tech Lifestyle. What is up, America? How are you guys doing? Man, I'm doing great, Chef John. Are you How are you? Are you doing great? That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining daytime cooking show out there. I'm here at the World Wide, World, why can't I ever say that? World you can't. Wide Headquarters of Rec Tech Grills in beautiful Evans, Georgia, with my main man, Jody Flanagan. Jody, how are you doing? Boy, John, I'm hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit. Yeah, you how are. You? <laughs> That's, I'm doing great. I'm so happy, so happy to be here with you guys. I have a special show player for you guys. Well, it's barbecue month. Let's just let's just take a second and get amped. That is still barbecue month. Woo! We're coming to the end of May. Yeah. So we've been taking it back old school, teaching you guys, going back, not even really teaching you, just going back over some old great barbecue recipes, showing you all how easy and delicious barbecue could be coming off the Rec Tech Grill. So today, I'm gonna do some pork belly tacos. Oh yeah. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, 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 burr. I got some beautiful pork belly here. I'm gonna do some Asian slaw. I've got a little mm. bit of black beans that I'm gonna make. Mm. Yeah. What kind yeah. of beans, John? A little bit of black beans. Uh, yes, I love them. I love them. I love them. All right. So what I did was I went to Publix because you know I love my people at Publix. Shout Jenny. out. Yeah. Shout out to Publix. Uh, I got a piece of bacon. Now, this has been lightly cured. Um, it is about three pounds of bacon. And what we're going to do is we're going to season this up. Oh, now, you actually, what this, you isn't, do, John? this isn't really bacon. You know what the difference between bacon and pork belly is, Jody, right? The words. <laughs> bacon sliced pork belly, and pork belly is unsliced. So okay. this would be pork belly because it's not been sliced yet. All right. So I'm going to grab two of my favorite seasonings when it comes to pork, that screaming pig and that honey rib rub. I love these things. They make a great combination and they're really going to kill it for our pork belly. So we're just going to go ahead and give it a little dust of the screaming pig. Oh yeah. Got to smash that share button. He's about to get this belly in our belly. Yeah. We're going right over the top making sure that we cover all sides. Now, uh, which seasonings are you using again, Chef We are John? using the Screaming Pig. I love this stuff. It's got a little bit of heat to it, Jody. Ooh. And I like to finish it with the Honey Rib Rub, which also has a little bit of heat, but it's got that sweet to it. Really, really, really that kills sweetness. it. sweetness. Guys, I want to ask you, put your comments and questions in the, quest in the comment section. Jody will be reading those out. I'm here for you guys. Make sure you... Uh, Ask us anything. No questions are off the table. That's what I'm talking about. We're here about. to give you the information that you need. That's right. That is what I'm talking about. So we're going to go all the way over everything. You can see this bacon still has a skin on it, too. They left the skin on it. So that's going to help add a little bit of crisp and crunch. It's uh, we got a birthday out there. Shout we out do. Scott Schiffel. Yeah, Happy Scott. Happy birthday, Happy Scott. Happy birthday, buddy. Okay, so we've seasoned this really, really well. So the next step is I have the uh, RT590 set at 375 degrees. Now we're gonna put our bacon on there skin side up. We're gonna let it cook for about an hour and then we're gonna drop the temperature to 250 degrees and let it cook the rest of the way there. And a little bit of that belly is still on there, John. This is untrimmed. That's untrimmed, yes sir. Gotta smash that share button. Smash that share button. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it straight down just like this. Oh Lord. Excellent. So that skin is up? Skin is up. Okay. And the reason why I did the skin up is because the Rectech does such a great job with the convection that it's really gonna help that skin get crispy. Now is this gonna taste like bacon, Chef John? This is gonna taste, it's gonna taste like really delicious bacon. Like the really thick cut bacon that you cook kind of soft. That's what it's going to taste like, but we're just going to have the delicious seasonings on there. So yeah, it's going to be out of this world and so, so, so easy. All right. 
So I want to make some black beans for you guys too, because what goes better with tacos than a little bit of black bean? You know, I love it, love it, love it. Cheese dip. Cheese dip? You like cheese dip with your tacos? I hey, do. Put, put what you guys like in y'all's tacos in the comment section, just so I know. Maybe next time I do street tacos, I'll be doing, using some of these. So what I got is super simple black beans. I've got a half of a white onion. I've got one and a half cans of black bean. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and take some of our olive oil. I have a cast iron pan that I've already put inside the RT590. I'm just oh. going to... I'm going to go ahead and put, on cast iron again today. Yeah, but I love the cast iron here. I can't get enough. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in there. And then I'm going to dump these onions in. Oh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. Now, guys, the, the reason why it's sizzle, sizzling is because I went ahead and put that cast iron inside the grill before or right as I turned the grill on. Very so good it had, tip, chef. You know, had time to come up. I wasn't waiting on that to get hot, and it was nice and hot right when I went ahead and put my stuff in. Okay, so I've got some chunky garlic. Ooh. I'm gonna put it in there. Joe, you got a question? Yes, sir. A lot of folks are asking how they can figure out when new products are gonna be released. They're, they're asking for dates. That, they're asking for times. I love it. That is a great, great question. I highly encourage everybody, if you're looking for of the new products or anything new that Rectech is doing. If you guys go to rectechgrills.com, you scroll to the bottom of that page, you put your email address in there, we will hit you up. You will be, actually you'll be signed up to become an insider and you will be able to know all things Rectech, all things that were coming up. I don't even want to tell, I know we have stuff, I don't even want to tell y'all. I mean, there's stuff right behind you that we can't I'm even just, tell them I about. I mean, y'all have to, got to go and sign up to become an insider. That's the only way to find out about new products. That's all I can say about Folks it. Folks are asking about grills, That's all I coolers, can say. I dates. Oh man, I mean, I want to tell y'all. I know what I can talk to y'all about though, the Academy, not this weekend, but next weekend, Academy is on, you Thursday, guys. Thursday, Friday, meeting Saturday. meeting today. Baby. Yes, we had a huge meeting today and we were talking all about how great Academy is going to be. I can't wait. Jody, we talked about swag bags. We talked about... Bro, there's over $250 worth of yeah. stuff in that swag yeah. bag. we talked about where they're going to come. It's like going to the Grammys. At. I'm telling you, we got signage. We're going overboard with Academy. So I can think there's a couple spots left, Jody. John, there are literally two spots left. Two Guys, there are two spots left. If you want to make it to this first Academy, well, it's actually the second Academy that we've done total, but the first, first one this the year, year 2020... Guys, go ahead and go to Rectech Grills and go ahead and purchase those tickets. Don't miss out. You got Thursday night. Come talk to them, Jody. We're doing a whole hog Thursday night. Yeah. We're doing drinks. We're doing yes. dinner. Yes. We're doing uh, early Friday morning. Yes. We're doing prep. Uh huh. We're doing uh, continental breakfast, That's what I'm coffee. About. We're doing a full lunch. We're doing drinks. And we're, we're going to be here. Dinner. We're going to be here. All the There's going to be drinks. Be here. Jody will be here. Great. Music. Yes. Pit masters from all over the World country. World class pit masters we're, we're, from all over the country. We are pulling out all the stops for you guys. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these black beans in. Now that I'm sure those onions have got a little bit of caramelization going on. Ooh. So you're doing this skin side up. Skin side up, pork belly. So the, I have the so RT the skin gets crispy, right? That's John? right. And I have the RT590 set at 375 degrees. This was uncooked. Yeah, Uncured. that looks beautiful. Now to this, we're going to add a little bit of that Colton's freaking Greek rub. It's just herbaceous. It takes any of my like dishes. And not just, this isn't just good on vegetables. I use it on fish. I've used it on pork, steaks. It is delicious. About three tablespoons. And we're just gonna mix this together. Ooh. Yes. And let it do its thing. Don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. Linda says she checks her email many times a day. Yes, Linda, and we thank you so much for checking your emails. Linda Moore, one of our top fans. Love you, girl. All right, so I'm going to do this Asian slaw. Uh -oh. Now, I know you're a connoisseur of Asian slaw, Jody. I, I am. I love are. anything Asian. I know you wife. are. But this Shout is out just my wife and children. This is just my take. So what I have here is just some broccoli slaw. So what they did was just slice up some broccoli. There's some carrots in there, a little bit of cabbage. Grated. Grated. We're going to put that in there. Great color. To that. And that's raw broccoli. Raw broccoli. That's, that's right. That's awesome. To that, we're going to add some Colton's Freaky Greek, about two tablespoons. Just to pop, hit it with some herbs, give it a little pop. 
We're gonna add, yeah, a little herbage. We're gonna add some Jody's Asian Persuasion. I love, love, love this. That ginger in there, woo, buddy. Yeah. It is great, great, great stuff. Guys, all these spices can be found at rectechgirls.com. You know, if you guys just are looking to diversify your spice collection, you know, I highly recommend you go check these things out. They go great with everything, you know? Not just the things that you're thinking, not just barbecue. You're only limited by your imagination when it comes to the Rectech spices. Yes, okay. So we've got some, uh, we've got Asian Persuasion. We've got some Colton's Freak of Greek. I'm gonna throw a little bit of that ground ginger. We talk about mm. this stuff a lot. It is just a time saver. So we're gonna put about a teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemongrass, about a teaspoon of lemongrass. And that's just ground lemongrass. Mm. Smash right. that share button, guys. I've got some rice wine vinegar, okay? We're gonna go ahead and add, I would say about a quarter cup. All this stuff can be found at your local grocery store. All right, so I have a little bit of sesame oil. Now, this is where it starts to take that Asian turn, Jody. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. We'll go with a little bit of sesame oil. Now, sesame oil is really, really, really strong, so just a dab will do you with that, all right? I got sesame oil. I've got a little bit of mayonnaise. Now, I prefer blue plate mayonnaise, <laughs> but this is what was in the refrigerator. Apparently, Jody went shopping for the mayonnaise. Yeah. And we're using that good old Dukes. Shout out. <laughs> D-U-K-E-S, Duke. <laughs> hey, we got a good question here, Chef John. Yes, sir. What could you add to any type of slaw to tr transition or turn it into a spicy slaw? Oh, that's a great question. I usually like to use sriracha. Um, you okay. could add that to any slaw, and immediately it's going to give it some nice heat. Uh, also, I like to use uh, red chili paste as one of my favorite things Ooh. to add to slaw. All right. So now I'm gonna give this just a mix, just to see where we're at, if I need to add any more liquid or I need to add any more um, mayonnaise. So we're just mixing. Oh, just it's mixing, looking huh? It's looking good. It's looking good though, Jody. Looking good, looking great. Yes. Sultan's out there watching us. Hey, Sultan and Mia, what's going on? Got to hang out with them and we their did. beautiful son, Troy. Troy. Yeah, we had a great time with them yesterday. That was so much fun. I think they're still in town Hopefully too. they'll uh, come back by. Yeah, I was about to say, I think they're still in town, Jody. All right, so this looks actually really, really great. You can see the creaminess. Ooh, ooh. And as this starts to sit, that's why coleslaw is best to make the day before you're actually going to need it, because as this sits, it's going to get a lot softer. That's such a all good All those point. Uh, the juices on the inside are going to start coming out of the carrots and the broccoli. It's going to be delish. Jody, you got any other great questions? You know, John, they're just super excited that you're cooking something. Uh, a little different today. I love it. Um, I love you know, it. a lot of uh, a lot of questions about uh, a lot of comments. Mahi is a good one. Ooh, I love beef the mahi. cheek meat uh, is Ooh, good in tacos. Beef cheek meat. Uh, yes. We got a couple of chicken lovers out there. I love uh, the chicken tacos. Uh, al pastor pork Ooh. for those tacos. You know what I like? I like making those buffalo tacos. The chicken tacos with the buffalo sauce. You put a little blue cheese crumble in there, Jody. Okay. That's bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay. I actually did forget to put one thing in here. I want to sweeten this up just a little bit, Jody. So what I got is a little Blank bit of just, steak just a little bit of sugar. Ooh. So we're going to put about... Just dip your finger in there, John. <laughs> no, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to put about a tablespoon of sugar in there. I'm going to mix this up. Yum. So, so nice. All right. Mix this up, and we're going to let this sit to the side. Okay. I'm thirsty, Jerry. You're going to want to refrigerate it, right? Yes, you would want to refrigerate this for at least, you know what I'm saying, at least a couple hours. And that's really going to make it best. If you have 30 minutes, if you're in a rush, 30 minutes would be great in the refrigerator. Buffalo style shrimp. Ooh, Tastes, yeah. I bet that would be amazing on some tacos. That would be dope. amazing. All right. Grouper throat. What? what? So I'm going to pause for a second because it's hot out in Georgia today. We actually, it's a little dreary. You know, it's a little dreary. It's about. I don't know, Jody, say about 80 degrees. Man, it's hot and humid, baby. It's warm. We got these grills cranked up and we're doing it. So I'm going to stop and pause and make a version of my favorite drink. You guys know it. It's the Vodka Rita. I love, love, love Dirty Girl. Love their products. If you do not or have not tried Dirty Girl products, please go ask for them wherever mixers are sold. And if you cannot find it there, just go to dgmixers.com. Get it straight from the horse's mouth. All right, so y'all all know, y'all watch, but y'all know that I love the vodka Rita. And it's because it's just simple. It's two ingredients. It's vodka. And Rita. And, yeah, and, <laughs> and our Dirty Girl Sour Mix, you know? That's it. So today we had uh, 
someone write me and they were like, Chef John, have you ever thought about using rum instead of vodka? And I was like, hey man, you know, I like it rum. I'm part pirate anyhow, I let's do it. So what we're gonna do is I got some fresh blueberries. Ooh. We're just gonna toss like four or five in there. And are you gonna do your famous muddle? You know I am, Jody, you know I am. I got some fresh raspberries, we'll throw about four in there. Chris Daniel said it's about 75 where he's at, so he Dude, feels our so, pain. Yeah, well, 75 is not so bad. No, I'll, I'll take a 75 uh, day. All right, so we're going to go with 75. three count to three of my favorite rum from Second City Distilleries. If you guys haven't, if you're in the CSRA and you have not been to downtown Augusta to check out Second City Distilleries, it is an awesome, awesome establishment. They've renovated one of the old buildings downtown and turned it into a distillery. They make a line of liquors. Liquors. I love them. I love them. Second City Distillery, look them up if you haven't seen them. All right, so we're going to top this off with a little bit of our Dirty Girl Sour Mix. And you know, Dirty Girl's thinking about all you bartenders out here. Look at the new handy bottle that they've just designed and come up with so it fits right behind your well. So perfect. All right, we're going to do, we're just going to equal part it. 106 in Fresno today. 106 in Fresno. Jeez. That, that's warm guys that's real warm shout out to y'all they're all, all calling right. you a pirate chef john yeah i think jody if i actually was ever going to be anything else besides a chef it would be a pirate I think. yeah do, do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is john uh what is a pirate's favorite letter jody Arr! no john no Whoa. no r is a mighty fine letter but c be the only letter for me uh Hey now. That's what I'm talking about, my man Jody. Ben LaSaf taught me that joke. Did he teach he did. you that one? All right, so we're just going to give this a handy shake. And then straight into Ooh. our awesome Dirty Frothy. Girl Cup. Do you ever mix lemonade and rum, John? Ooh, lemon, lemonade and rum. Now, I cannot say that I have. Is that delicious? It sounds like it's delicious to Christopher Long. Well, let's see how this turned out. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, what kind of drink do you guys like to sip on uh, when you're grilling and that chilling really and good. thrilling people? Guys, that is really, really good. It's almost as good as the vodka rita. And I'm not a huge rum fan, but this Second City Distillery rum kills it. Mm. Mm. Make this your drink of the summer, guys. Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. Mm, mm, mm. So, John, give the folks a rundown of what you're cooking today for lunch break. All right. So today... You know, it's barbecue month, everybody. So we are keeping with the barbecue theme and bringing you guys just some oldies but goodies, you know? So I decided to do pork belly, barbecue pork belly tacos today. So we got a two pound pork belly. I went ahead and set the RT590 at 375 degrees. I put the, I seasoned the pork belly with uh, honey rib rub Ooh. and a little bit of that new screaming pig. Okay, Dan. Put it on the grill. I'm gonna let it sit there for about an hour skin side up and then I am going to turn it down to about 250 and let it come up to about 205 degrees and then we're gonna slice that thing up. I like that process, tacos. John, you I like that? that. So what is the reason for starting it high and then going down low? Okay, so you start it high so that skin, cause the way the Rectech grill works, it's got a lot of convection going on in there. That heat is just swirling and swirling around. So you wanna get that heat high enough so it's gonna get that skin crisp and then you turn it down so that it brings the internal of the meat up slowly so that it cooks evenly and it doesn't just burn on the outside and oh, be raw okay. in the middle. Yeah. Very good explanation. All right. So I wanted you guys to see this because it's going to take a little while. So this is probably, gonna, we're going to leave it on here for an hour at 375 and then we're going to drop it down to 250. And then we are, it's going to take another about two hours, two and a half hours at 250 um, to come to an internal temperature of about 203. And that's about where we're at right now. I put one on earlier. So y'all come on over here. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So kind of like a pork butt. You're yeah, just looking like for that, in, that internal of about that's 200. Right. That's okay. right. Woo! Oh, buddy. Smash that share button, guys. That belly looks Golly awesome. Lee Moses, guys. And you can see we're temping out right at 203 on the RT340. I really do love this grill, Jody. It is my, my grill. It gets hot quick, man. It so recuperates. Quick. And you can just super, take it with fast. you anywhere. You could take it with you anywhere. All right, I got you that can turn it up, there. down, on, or off from anywhere in the world, John. That's right. That's right. You know it, Jody. With that 20-pound hopper and those foldable, collapsible legs, though, it's good to go anywhere you want to go. All right, so this looks beautiful, guys. Oh, my goodness. Can y'all see that? What's it feel stickiness? like, John? It feels 
beautiful. It's got a little give to it, but it's firm in the middle. Okay. It's perfect. So what we're going to do now is I've got some uh, Blue Hogs barbecue sauce. They're red and they're blue mixed together. Dang. I'm just going to go over the top of this. Woo. Just like this. Don't tempt me with a good time, That's Chef what I'm John. talking about. We're going to give it a little brush, just like it was a cake. You know what I'm saying? We're just oh. going to cover all sides. Like this barbecue sauce is icing. That was your nickname in high school, John, Cake Daddy. Cake Daddy. I remember that. All right. Yeah, guys, if John was a pirate, what do you think John's That's pirate name would be? That is a great question. Great question. Please put it in the comments. Smack that in the comment section Please down do. below. I would love to hear my pirate names. That would be great. That might be a good thing be... to ask for your late night show. That's not a, that's not a bad question. That's not a bad question. You're after, right. After folks get a couple drinks in them, they'll start coming up uh -huh. with some up good my names. Pirate? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So, guys, also, thank you for leading into that, Jody. Thursday nights at 11 o'clock on Rec Tech Chef John's Facebook page, I go live with Late Night Munchies. It's a good time. We usually cook it up something super quick, super easy. Sweet. Su super sweet, maybe a little deliciousness, and we just have a good time. We read some love letters, requests, dedications, maybe sing a couple songs. It's fun for the whole family. I highly encourage you guys to tune in. Fun that. for the whole family? Well, I guess... Yeah, for the whole family. It's fun. If they're up late, you know, you can't get the kids to bed, bring them on too. It's fun for the whole family. Scotty says Cake Daddy is a great name for a pirate. <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. All right, so what I did is I got some street tacos. I'm just going to throw them down here and just get them warmed up because I know Jody likes his tacos warm. If you guys can see, these beans are doing fabulous. What temp are you on over there, Chef John? 375, and it is just holding perfect. I'm going to go ahead and throw these tortillas down. We're just going to warm them up real quick. Cat and Cook. <laughs> Cat and Cook, I like that too. Cat and Dirty Bull. Okay. The Griller. The Griller. Cat and Pappy. Cat and Happy. Johnny Hands. Johnny Hands. Little John. <laughs> Flavor Tooth. Flavor Tooth. <laughs> they call him Flavor Tooth. John like the Graybeard. John the Graybeard. You guys are awesome. Jenny, we got the best people that's out pretty, here. I mean, that's that's good. pretty good. That's really, pretty good. really good. Guys, also, I want to remind you guys that if you go to Glenn Beck's Instagram page, you have a chance to win one for dad. That's right. Father's Day's right around the corner. And I know everybody blew it out for Mother's Day, but let's not leave all the fathers out. You know, thanks, dad, for, like, going to work. Thanks for, like... You know, showing me how to become a man. Thanks for teaching me how to cut the grass and chew tobacco and shoot, shoot a back. gun. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me how to fish. Thanks for teaching me how to pee standing up, you know? Amen. Thank you, Dad. Wow, wow. And the best way to show Dad thank you <laughs> is to go to Glenn Beck's Instagram page. Win one for him, you know? Thank you, Glenn Beck, for that. And also, you guys missed out. The, the sale is over on those Rec Tech and Dirty Girl shirts. I want to thank everybody who bought one. I know yesterday I checked and we had raised over $5,000 for the Giving Kitchen. And that's a testament to you guys out there. We want to thank you very much for all the food and beverage people out there. Thank you all so much. What's up, Jody? What you got? Captain Lip Flapper. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit my drink out. That was a good one. <laughs> Who said that one, Jody? Uh, that was a I got to get uh, Brian Maud. Uh, Brian. <laughs> that was good. Captain Lip Flapper. There's like four people that's already laughed at his comment. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Um, all right. That's a good I'm one. I'm going to go ahead and pull this pork belly off. Oh, are you? Yeah, pulling it off, Jody. Oh, yeah. I just really wanted to get that barbecue sauce a little tacky. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Guys, smash that share button. Look Ooh, at that Please, gorgeous. smash that share button. Help me Belly. help y'all by keep bringing y'all great content. The only way to do that is for my boss to know that y'all are loving it. And the only way for that to happen is for y'all to smash that share button. Mm. Man, that blues hog barbecue sauce ain't nothing to play with, Jerry. I'm telling you, when you mix the two, I'm telling you, they do not play, do not, do not sleep on that blues hog barbecue sauce. Jerry, do you know the website where they could go order some of this stuff? Yeah, you can go to Atlanta BBQ store.com. You can actually get 10% off of your order by typing the code REC TECH. 10 when you go to make your purchase. That's right, 10% off 
of anything at the Atlanta BBQ store dot awesome. com using R E C T E C That's awesome. one zero. That is awesome. We, we hook it up for you. You can get the Blues Hog there. You can get the White Lightning that we use there. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've got an assortment of amazing competition, championship winning rubs, sauces, mm. spices, all of that mm. stuff. Man. All right, I'm going to slice this bad boy up. Jason's asking, uh, what's the place that sells the Wagyu tri tip you guys cooked the other day? That's going to be Cow Steaks. Cow Steaks. K O W Steaks.com. Check them out. Tell them the boys from Rectech sent you guys. Oh, All my right. gosh, John. That All thing's right. so shiny. So shiny. So I'm just going to cut a little chunk so y'all can see the middle of it. So what was the internal temperature that you Ooh, shot for again? 203 Ooh, is where I pulled that out at. Son. What do you? T that's what I'm talking about. This ain't no game. Everybody else is playing for seconds, Jody. And we're just going to slice this against the grain. Right? So 375 for about an hour. Yep. And then you turned it down then to I 250. Then I dropped, dropped the temperature to 250. Ooh, look at that oh, beautiful wow. skin. I'm going to pull that over to the side so we can just put a few pieces of that on there. We're just going to shave this down. Now, truthfully, guys, you're going to want to let this rest. You know, normally you would not be cutting it up right now. You would let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and just let all those juices on the inside calm down. This thing is screaming hot. Ooh, son. Screaming hot, Jody. So I'm just going to slice up some pieces. Oh, that John, great. what would make a, fir a great first cook for anybody out there that just got their rec tech that wants to know what the best thing to cook for your first cook is. I love chicken thighs. And okay. you know, a lot of people out there will tell you different stuff, but if you ask Chef Greg, me or Jody, we're gonna tell you the same thing every time. You're gonna need something super fatty and mm. nothing gets more fatty than those chicken thighs. You want stuff that's gonna splatter all over that yeah. barrel, help season that barrel. Yeah. So the fattier, the better, and chicken thighs are a great, great, great first some cook. burgers, a pork butt, some yeah. bacon like you're cooking that's now. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's start to build some of these, Jody. Ooh. Guys, smash that share button. Chef John's is about to show you the most amazing street taco That's made what with I'm pork talking belly, about. belly ever. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our pork belly, and we're just going to put it on the, use it as a base, put Ooh. that down. That stuff looks so moist and tender. It is, it is, Jody. It is. Shout out to Publix. I got this pork belly at Publix, but you can find them at your local grocery stores. Yeah, so you did get this at Publix. We yes, didn't sir. have to go to the butcher shop. Did not or have to go to the butcher shop. Um, yeah, shout out to Publix. It looks like, you know, Publix was pretty stocked with meat. I don't know what, you, what grocery stores uh, you guys shop at, but the one out here in Evans, Georgia, they had pretty much everything that you need: big old steaks, pork chops, Amen. chicken, um, all the stuff. Especially if you go early. Yeah, yeah. The earlier trip. That is the truth, Jody. And that's a good trick for anything out there right now, you guys. I know it's hard shopping. It's hard getting the stuff that you need. It really is. But the earlier you get to the grocery store, I promise you that stuff will be there. I found toilet paper the other day, Jody, and I know there's a shortage of that. So Yes, Chef uh, Greg called me this morning and said he was at Publix and they had a bunch of uh, toilet paper. Yeah. Because uh, I literally, we ran out of the house the other day. That's what I'm talking about. So, guys, get there early. You will find the products that you're looking for. Your the, your grocery stores are working really, really hard to make sure that, you know, they're getting everything back to kind of normal. So, Chef John, on those chicken thighs, what's the time and temp uh, that you would cook those at? I like going high on my chicken thighs, skin on, bone in, the way God intended it. Uh, I like going high, about 420 degrees, Jody, and it's going to take probably about 25, 30 minutes on those chicken thighs. I don't flip them. I go skin side up, and that helps get that skin nice and crispy. But that's a great question. Yeah, yeah and that 400 degree burn in for one hour, you need to make sure that you uh, complete that. Yeah. Me, I'm lazy. I don't want to touch the grill, so I leave it at 400 degrees, and I cook those chicken thighs for about 45 minutes until they reach an internal temperature, about 165, 170 degrees, and I do it uh, skin side down, John. Do you do that's skin my side down? That's just my preference. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Let's and then I will flip uh, about 30 minutes into the cook. You do um, flip? Yeah, because when that grease does drip down, yeah. it kind of splatters up a little bit, it and it helps right cook, that. Uh, crisp that skin up just a little bit, you too. You are 100% right about that. All right, so Let's what I've got amazing, here John. is a little fresh tomato. Uh, we've got some, where did I put it at? Oh, here it is. This is guacamole sauce. Now, you can find this at your local grocery store, and if you're sleeping on it, you need to look for it. It's a mixture of tomatillos, avocados. Um, it's got some peppers in here. Um, it's really, really, really delicious. It's a little spicy. So we're gonna go over the top with some of this. Ooh, yum. Yes. So uh, does, uh, 
does the rec tech do a great job of cooking fish, Chef Greg? I mean, Chef John? God. Cooking fish? Chef yes, Greg's it does. out there again. He is out there. He's always out there. I love Chef Greg. Yeah, it does the bomb at cooking fish. And the thing is, you have there's so many varieties or so many ways that you could cook the fish. You could put it on the sear kit and go high and fast. You could put it in the smoke box and do some smoked salmon. You know, you're only limited by your imagination when it comes to the Rectec grills. Because of that PID controller, it holds that temp within two degrees of where you set it. I mean, you're good to go. You are good to go. Mm, man, All right, so I got a little great. avocado. We're going to slice these up. So you, we're going to add some avocado in there. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, that looks great. Doesn't it? Avocado real simple. I, I'm sorry I didn't show you guys again how to take the seed out, but if you don't know, this is what we're doing. We're just going to slice it, right? We're just making little slits. I'm not going all the way through the skin of the avocado. I'm just touching the bottom of the avocado and slice it all the way down. And then we're just going to take our spoon and we're just going to scoop it out. Super easy. Super easy. Now I'm going to take some of this delicious Colton's Freaky Greek. I'll hit it over here because I don't know where you get your avocados, but mine don't come seasoned. Right? And then we're just going to take some avocado pieces. Jody, are they impressed out there? They, they, are they, are they they're getting hungry? They're smashing that share button. They're hitting the likes. They're hitting the loves. It looks absolutely amazing, Chef. And then uh, just a little bit of sesame seed right over the top. So what kind of rubs did you season the pork belly with again, Chef? We did. I'd use the Screaming Pig and the Honey Rib Rub, which really are two of my favorite, favorite seasonings for pork. Like... That, that Screaming Pig adds a nice little bit of heat, and that Honey Rib Rub is nice and sweet. It actually makes the pork or whatever protein you're putting on really tacky because of the brown sugar in there, Jody. I really, 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 really love it. So good. Woo, it is hot today, Jody. Right. Guys, smash that share it, button for me real quick. Help me help y'all. Just smash it. It That's was hot ask. yesterday, Give too. Likes. Give us a we love. We had uh, me and Sultan and Troy. Yes. And then uh, Teresa Silcox and her husband. Yes. And, we had uh, a great time. And their dog came out here today. So, man, it was, a, it was a great day a great yesterday time. for sure. Hey, Jody, speaking of dogs, isn't Rec Tech Academy, isn't that going to be dog friendly? Well, Ray, uh, every time he gets a chance to say it, you know, this campus is dog friendly. We do have dog bowls here that uh, have water in them. So if you guys are bringing your dogs, you know, that's it's just right. like Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, you know, feel free. You know, they're part of the family, too. That's how we live our rec tech lifestyle that out here. That is right. That is right. Jody, I think it's taste of time. Oh, is it? Yeah, That's I think my so. favorite part of all these I shows. Should, I just want to taste some of this pork belly real quick. Do come, you? Yeah, here, come get you some of this pork oh, belly. Oh, okay, belly. I will. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah. So you can, give the, you can give the people an honest opinion of how delicious this is. Let them see you eat it, Jody. All right. Well, all right. If, if we're going to be honest with everybody. Yeah, let's be honest with everybody. Let them know what Chef John is cooking. Wow. That is off the chain good, man. What do you taste, There's Jody? a smoke ring, sweet, heat, savory. You can actually taste the pork through all of it. Yes. You know, it's not like bacon. You know, it's more of a meaty uh, uh, texture. Mm. That is what I'm talking about, wow. buddy. Great job, man. You Thank knocked you it so much. straight up out of the park. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. All right. But with all those other textures. I know. I know. I know you guys are waiting for this. up on that taco. I know you guys are waiting for this. All right. I'm going to recap real quick. So we did barbecue pork tacos today. Yeah. And they look delicious. I had a two-pound pork belly. Uh, I went ahead and threw in the RT590 at 375 degrees for an hour. Seasoned it with Screaming Pig and Honey Rib Rub. Dropped it after that hour to 250 degrees. It took about another two and a half hours to bring it to an internal temperature of 203. I seasoned it with a little bit of barbecue sauce, let it sit for about 45 seconds to a minute, pulled it off, sliced it up, Jody, Ooh. topped it with, what do we got here? We got avocado, tomatoes, that pork belly, that guacamole sauce, man, oh man, that beautiful, beautiful broccoli slaw. I'm, I'm shorting out the iPad over yeah. here. I'm drooling yeah. all over it, man. Ooh. Guys, Ooh. smash that share Ooh. button. Give us a like, give us a love. Mm. Uh, got a good question here, John. Mm -hmm. uh, is it Ooh. slap your mama good? Woo! Yes, sir. That's the only food I know how to make, Jody. Slap your mama good food. Mm. Mm. Guys, this was delicious. If you see the pork belly, if you see the pork belly on, you know, at the grocery store, you need to definitely go ahead and pick it up. And this is an easy way to do it. Jody, you know what I forgot? 
You didn't forget all anything. This food. You ain't forget nothing. Then black beans. Let's check them out. Let's check them out, brother. Oh yes. Look at how they're like nice and bubbly. Oh, time and temp. Time and temp. So we put them on at the beginning of the show. So they've been on for about 20 minutes. Uh, all okay. they have in here is an onion that I cooked down at first in the cast iron skillet. And then I hit it with a little bit of that Colton's freaking Greek. Ooh. And it looks delicious, Jody. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull these off. Got a good question, Chef John. Yes, Could sir. you go uh, apple pie rub with screaming pig rub uh, for apple slaw? Ooh, now that sounds awesome. Apple slaw with apple pie rub and screaming pig rub. I would definitely try that for sure. Right. 100%. Apple slaw is so delicious. I totally forgot about apple slaw. I totally forgot about apple slaw. Apple well, slaw, sir. I love it. Thank you, whoever commented that. I love the apple slaw. All right, let's give this a little taste. Sweet black bean baby Jesus. <laughs> yes, sir, buddy. Guys, I wish y'all could smell that. Can y'all see the steam coming off? Oh, man, it smells so good. John, we got a good question. Yes, sir. Uh, is this a game? This ain't no game. Woo, Lord. This ain't no game. Everybody else is playing for seconds. Got a good question here, John. Yes, Who sir. is playing for second? Everybody else. That's right. Everybody else. Because Rec Tech Grills has it on lockdown. Man, this is so good. Better than I thought it was going to turn out, Jetty. We killed it today. No, man, you oh, knocked man. it out of the park, son. Well, I'm only as good as my team, Jody, and you are the GOAT. So I'm thanking you so much for being here with me. Guys. Tyler said his weekend meal is now planned. Thank you, Chef John. Yes, sir. Guys, smash that share button for me. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. If you guys ever have a question for me, Chef Greg, or Jody, excuse me, you can find us or email us at Rectech Grills. That's Jody at RectechGrills.com, Chef Greg at RectechGrills.com, or Chef John at RectechGrills.com. Game, set, match. Yeah, we love hearing from you guys. You know, we love, love, love y'all's questions, y'all's pictures. Thank y'all so much for sending them. We have a great time. If you ever need to talk to a live person, though, you have a question and you need an answer to it right now, you can call us at 706-922-0890. We're always happy to hear from you. And no, there are no stupid questions. You know what I'm saying? Just like Forrest Gump's mama said, there are no <laughs> stupid questions. John, what yeah. is everybody's Instagram names? Instagram, okay. So on Instagram, you are John, Jody is John Dillon Sr. It's a family name. J-O-H-N-D-I-L-L-I-O-N-S-R. There you go. You can it's search for me, Barbecue Dad Jody. Barbecue Dad Jody. Search for him on TikTok too. He's got a lot of great TikToks. Jody is awesome with the food and the funny. Jody, you're killing it on TikTok. Chef Greg is Chef Greg Mueller on Instagram. Is he or is he Chef Greg? No, he's Chef Greg. Chef Greg Mueller on mm -hmm. Instagram. That's right. So please give him a follow. He has a ton of food pictures on his, and he's always posting more stuff. And I'm Rec Tech Chef John on Instagram. Yeah. Follow us, guys. Yeah. Follow us. Hey, we got some new folks that literally just tuned in. Can you give them just one more breakdown, Chef? Okay, so for all you folks that are just tuned in. What this, is that? Beautiful this piece is, of meat. This is pork belly barbecued. Pork belly. We're doing tacos today. I've got a little bit of black bean that I did in a cast iron skillet and some delicious, delicious broccoli Asian slaw. And you guys can see we're having a good time. It was super easy. I cooked it on the RT590 at 375 degrees. Season it with honey rib rub and screaming pig. Drop the temperature after an hour to 250 and let it just come up to an internal temp of 203. It was that easy, Jody. You used the 340 and 590 today? Yes, I did. I actually wanted to use the 340 just because I had to get it on early for you guys because I wanted y'all to see how delicious it came out. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I love having you guys hang out with us for lunch break. If you guys want this recipe or any other recipes you see, Make sure that you go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break and put your information in there and you'll get emailed all this and more. Joe, do you got anything? Uh, did you trim a lot of the fat off that belly? No, it came, this is exactly how it came. It came uh, skin on, um, so I didn't, I didn't trim a thing off of this. I just put it, I seasoned it and put it straight on the grill and the rec tech took care of the rest. So hey, that was about it, man. Is that it? That's about it. Thank you guys so much. guys. Don't forget Academy next weekend. We have two seats left. Thursday, Friday, If you Friday, want to Saturday. come hang out with us and learn from pit masters from all over the country, like award-winning pit masters, not just like guys we just found. World these class. Are, yeah, these people are bringing home Championship. Trophies. Yeah, they winning. Come, go to rectechgirls.com. Go ahead and purchase those last two tickets and come hang out with us next weekend. We are going to have a blast. Guys, we killed it today for barbecue. I want you guys to always remember, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do.
do, do, do. Rick Tech Lifestyle. Set it. Set it. And forget it. Forget it. I see Craig and Doug and Josh. What's up, Craig? Christopher and Jesse. Hey, I guys. see Brad, Vince, and Linda. Yum. Paul, Jerry, Bill. Hey.